advice to send Kate down there to check out a possible murder. I offered to let you and Sid go with her. You still can, you know. Jennifer and I will keep watch from up here. I just hope she's led a pious life. Not really. That's sort of why I sent her. Mason! <sighs> Kate just pounded on my door yelling someone was being murdered out front. She stopped. She found something. What's with the bathrobe? She's waving it. It's a quarter. Good job, Kate! I was in the shower. I can't wear a robe. Suddenly I'm some kind of slut sleeping with every horny guy in town just because I'm wearing a bathrobe? And high heels. Oh, damn it. I mean, so? <laughs> this isn't aloe. I think my face is melting. You can't deny me forever. I'm in hell here. Help me! Who was that? Who was who? I can't find Kate. I found a corner. <laughs> oh. And? Three more and I can do laundry? What was going on in the car? Oh, well, a guy had a girl in the car, and it was pretty violent, but he wasn't killing her. Although she did cry out for Jesus a couple times. Hmm. There's nothing like old-time religion, is there, Father Tim? Excuse me. Well, that was exciting. It was. Uh, but uh, Jennifer and I have work to do, and I'm sure you all have things to do, oh, so... Oh, I don't have anything to do. Just a quiet evening at home, catching up on my shoe washing. That's why I had to wear my heels. See, all my other shoes are in the laundry. What detergent do you use? Uh... Uh, it's not important. The, the oh. important thing is that she has to get back to her shoes. Oh, do you think I'm lying? I don't have to go home. There is nothing salacious going on. There is no one in my apartment. Ashley, you coming back or what? Damn it! I mean... Hi, uh, Eric? Where's Father Tim? Heavenly Father, give me strength. Who are you? What do you want from me? Have you ever had your face thrust into a lake of fire? Do you abide here? Usually only after I've had Taco Bell. Does Mason know you're here? He's ignoring me. Because I'm the spawn of Satan. Tonight it's like you're the only one who can see me. Me? Why? Is it because I had impure thoughts? Maybe. Do the others know you as well? No, they all know me. In fact, and don't tell anyone this, lately I've been trying to get closer to Kate. That's what got me in this situation to begin with. That would explain a lot. Father, I'm burning up here. Can you help me? I don't know. Help end my torment. Maybe Mason keeps aloe in his bedroom. Then again, do I want to use lotion Mason keeps in his bedroom? Oh, God, my face! I'll not forsake you, troubled demon. It's my calling. I've waited my entire life for this. Soon the glory of God will salve your festering. So? <laughs> I found some champagne. I'll be able to help you in just a second. Yeah, okay. I was listening to that. Are you familiar with the term coitus interruptus? Intimately. Why are you all still here? What do you think about Father Tim? Do you think he's into me? Yes, very. You know what would be the true test of your relationship? See if it survives outside of my apartment. All right, everybody out. It's been fun. I, I can't leave. What if Jennifer's seen me? She'll know something's up. Which it's not. Even though every time she sees me, it seems like she doesn't remember me. So why are you hiding your face? It's just in case she hasn't seen me and recognized me. I thought you and Jennifer were an item. They still are. Mason. <laughs> the Lord has given me a challenge. I'm sure you didn't invite Helen to your home. I don't have to. It seems to have its own set of keys. But I can see now you're a prisoner. I can help you, Mason. Help you break free. A prisoner? <laughs> Not a prisoner. See, I'll go outside. Tell you what. I'll go outside tomorrow. Okay, everyone out. I'm not leaving, Father Tim. Oh, he's going to. Mm. Oh, oh uh, Jennifer. Uh, hello, miss. But, but why are you leaving? What about our camp out? I found champagne. 
It got boring. When I thought someone was being murdered, that was exciting. But I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go home and rent a scary movie or something. Bye, everyone. Uh, but if you leave now, you're going to miss the excitement. We were all just about to enact Sid's horror film. We were? Yep. Well, that might be fun. It will be fun. Oh, okay. I know, I know. No, you too. No. No. Anything moving on the lawn? Not a bowel. Are you almost done? I don't usually work this way. I'm sure it's great. It's genius, but not my usual genius. I just think that if you give me an idea of what the film will feel like, I'll be able to write better music. Herschel Gordon Lewis was able to write the entire score for Blood Feast after merely reading a particularly macabre fortune cookie. Well, bully for Herschel. It's like Father Tim has never been with a woman before. Kate, do you have any strawberries? I must have left them in my other pants. I've tried all my best moves. Can you dip prunes in chocolate? He's obsessed with the bathroom, and I know he's not doing anything in there. I put my ear to the door, nothing. He's just ignoring me. Have you grabbed his crotch? Twice. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Ooh. I can't let you have Kate, no matter how willing she is to be led into your embrace. She is. Tell me. Why do you want her? I don't know. And she's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> the question is, why do you care? I saw you out there. You were getting pretty close to her. <laughs> I thought priests weren't supposed to be into that sort of thing. It's my life's calling. Really? Are you sure you should even be a priest then? There are many priests who would do what I'm doing. Yeah, it's Vatican II for you. I saw her first. I think you're only interested because I am. That's right. I didn't think you'd be so forthcoming. You can't have Kate. You can have Mason. He's already too far gone, I fear. He's already given himself to you fully. Really? Well, that's going to make things awkward. Where are you going? Oh, wait. Do you have any good lotion? Anything without salicylic acid? Oh. <laughs>